Hello everyone, it's Jim from Small Time Outlaws and welcome to the 12th video in this series on beginning programming in Monkey. In this one we're going to be continuing our journey into object creation and looking into static functions and fields and also properties. It's pretty exciting. So, first thing we're going to do is static. Now if you watched the string revisited videos, you'll remember I showed you a function called from care that was a static function in the string class. And so basically how that was set up is this class was a string just like the R class here, student. But instead of method, you use the function keyword inside the class and that allows you to access it as a static function. So we'll call this we're gonna call this function uh we'll say can graduate. And this is basically just gonna check their GPA and return a Boolean of whether or not they can graduate. Okay. And I need to pass in a GPA to check. This doesn't actually check the any student's GPA. This is just a generic GPA coming in and then it's gonna return true or false after it compares it to a minimum GPA that you define which I'll show you. So we'll say the check GPA and it's a float coming in and we'll use an if statement we'll say if check GPA is greater than we'll say greater than or equal to 2.0 you need a 2.0 to graduate and we'll make it an else and at end there, we'll say print can graduate, and otherwise print can't graduate. Set face. And now to show you, I'm going to show you how to access this function. You just go down to the main function, and we'll say well, we're going to print. No, we don't need to print because we're calling print inside can graduate. And so we're going to call student dot can graduate and we're going to pass in because this student object doesn't have any GPA associated with it so we need to send it a GPA. We're going to send it in student 1's GPA. So I'll say student 1 get GPA. So what this is going to do is going to pass in whatever its GPA is. In this case it's 2.5. It's going to check it against 2.0 and then print whether or not a student can graduate. So we'll print or we'll run. Well, it says he can graduate because he's got a 2.5. Great. And now let's say you want to set up a static field that stores these this minimum GPA value and applies to all students. So we'll set, we're going to call it minimum GPA and then we're going to create this field and instead of the field keyword we're going to use the global keyword inside the student class. Now well, that's kind of weird. I don't really like how that is. I wish you would just put in a static keyword, but for I guess maybe one day. But for right now it's global and that makes a static field. We're going to call it GPA. Make it a float and then set it to 2.0. And if you wanted to set that minimum GPA or access the minimum GPA outside of the class, you can do it the same way. You access the static method. You just do so object name student dot minimum GPA and assign it to something 3.0, 2.0, whatever. Okay, now we're going to go over properties and you can see how useful they are. Uh, so let's think of a good property. I'm thinking, let's see, go with gender. I'll say the property is going to be called gender and then it's going to have, with properties, they're kind of like the setter and getters. But you're going to be using the, a field name instead of a method name. So, but you still need a, another variable to actually store the value. So, in this case, I'm going to use that underscore. This will signify that is a, a deep private variable that you shouldn't ever access outside of the properties. And we'll make that an int. And this is basically a flag. Let's specify whether or not they're male or female. All right, so now below these GPA setters and getters, we're gonna make some properties. And the way you set up a property is using the method keyword. And 
and then we're going to use the property name in this case gender so it looks like a f it looks like a regular field because this is just coding style you know how, see you can see how I use like capital letters there and then lowercase there but usually you'll set up a property in the same way you set up a field as far as coding style goes just to kind of keep it consistent and so with property you're going to send in a value and it's going to be an int and then you're going to flag this method with the property keyword and this tells monkey that this is in fact a property so you want it to behave as such and then we'll use method and this is kind of going back to our function overloading it's pretty similar to that you're going to this is going to be our getter so it needs to return an int you're not passing anything through and then you're also going to flag it as the property as well and now within our setter we're going to assign that underscore private variable gender to the value coming in and then with our getter we're going to return our underscore gender our private variable okay and then just to make things a little nicer we're going to set up a couple constants out here and they're going to be gender constants so I'm going to say one is male and it's going to be set to zero and then the other will be female set to one and the reason you use these constants as you can see is when you go back into your code and you're down here and you're in other files you're lost sometimes you forget well wait a second was zero male or was zero female or was one male or was one female I can't remember so instead of having to remember all that you just do your student one dot and use your uh, use your property name and assign it to whichever constant you set up so this is actually passing in one but it, according to you it's gender male so it's pretty nice right right so what happens is when you set this property like this notice it's not like set GPA we actually pass in a parameter you're actually assigning it a value like a regular field it's actually going to call this method because you flagged it as property and and perform any code you do in here so let's say instead of just assigning gender to the value you want to check the value and say let's say if if the value equals let's say if they are female then they're smarter they're smarter than male so we're gonna set their GPA to a we're going to max them out to 4.0 and then otherwise half is smart so this is good this is good for like when I've in past project I've set up like a vehicle class and so this vehicle class has physics associated with it so whenever I change let's say I'll have I have a property called mass and so whenever I change the mass I want to recalculate its weight so including gravity so I would send the mass in as value and then recalculate its total weight every time mass gets changed so it's really nice and then you can also this is also good for like debugging and stuff you can see how many times you access a certain property or how many times you set a certain property so there's a lot you can do with that and uh, so that pretty much that's your basic object creation with statics and properties um, this makes you pr uh, you're you're almost a pro I'm telling you you're almost a pro at monkey by now but uh, so this is almost we're nearing the end of the beginning there's probably one or two videos I got up my sleeve in the beginning series here but pretty soon you're gonna graduate to advanced and well it's gonna be a proud day for me it's gonna be a proud day for everyone but uh, yeah send me an email jim at smalltimeoutlaws.com or leave some comments See you in the next video.